It's art time! My name is Teacher Gabby. Today, we are going to learn how to draw Christmas Winter Friends. A snowman. A penguin. And an elf with the magical Christmas star hat. Are you ready? Let's begin! The materials that you will need for today's lesson are a pencil. You may use a wooden pencil or a lead pencil, but I am going to use a black marker so you can see my bold lines. Once you're all done with your artwork, you may color your artwork however you wish. You may use paints, markers, crayons, pastels, or any other art materials that you have at your house. Throughout the video, we will see vocabulary art words such as repetition, shapes, illusion, and many other vocabulary words. Stay tuned! Now that we have all of our materials, ready, set, draw your marks. The first thing that we are going to draw is an oval shape for the head. Next, a second oval shape for the body. And finally, a third oval shape for the bottom part of the body. Throughout the video, I will take long pauses to allow you to catch up. Now, let's draw a wide curved line for the scarf. Then, wavy lines for the scarf tails to give the illusion that the scarf is being waved in the air. An illusion is when you use simple two-dimensional shapes or lines to create the appearance of something 3D or in motion. Once you have drawn the scarf, let's go ahead and draw repetitive lines. Repetition is 
doing something multiple times. Draw many small lines in the scarf and the tails. Now, let's draw two circles for the buttons. Inside the buttons, draw four dots. If your buttons are too small, try to fit at least two dots. Let's draw the hands. For the hands, let's draw a straight line and then two small lines so the snowman can have at least three fingers. Now let's draw the hat. Go ahead and draw two lines right here. And then draw a curved line at the top to connect the two lines. And then an upside down curved line to make the top of the hat. 
draw a line at the front of the hat for design. And then another upside down line at the bottom front of the hat. Then two small ovals on the side. At the side of the hat, you may draw a flower or any other design. I will show you how to draw a flower step by step. Your snowman looks wonderful! Let's go ahead and draw our second winter friend. Which character do you think we are going to draw next? Do you think it will be the elf or the penguin? Hmm. If you guessed the penguin, you are correct! Just like we did for the snowman, draw an oval for the head. For the body, draw a big, big oval. The size that you decide to draw for the body will determine how tall or short your penguin will be. This is called scale. The scale is how big or small you want something to appear. For the front of the head, we are going to frame the face with a wide shape that looks like the letter M. Now, 
let's draw the flippers inside the body. Penguins don't have arms, they have flippers. Draw a line going down with a slight curve to the left. Then a small line at the left, making the pointy tip for the penguin's flippers. Then make the same steps for the right flipper. Now let's make two lines going down to give the penguin's body some form. This penguin is not going to have a scarf. Instead, it is going to have a bow. To begin drawing the bow, first make an oval. Then, the sides of the bow. You can even make a few lines inside the bow so it can look like a fluffy bow. And finally, let's draw the ends of the bow. Then two lines on the side of the bow, right below the head. Great job following the steps! Your bow looks great! Let's move on to the hat. Make a curved line for the hat. Now, for the hat, Let's draw a Christmas hat going to the side.
pointy end of a hat, you may draw a fluffy ball or a star. For the design inside, I drew circles. You may draw circles or stripes or stars or anything else you would like to draw instead. For the border of the hat, draw repetitive lines, just like you did for the scarf. Do you remember which is the last Christmas winter friend we need to draw? The last friend is... The Elf! Here is the oval for the head. the border of the hat. And then, an elongated triangle for the elf's Christmas tree hat. Now, let's draw the body. Let's draw two lines going down from the head to the bottom of the page on both sides. Let's draw the elf's ears. The ears should look like leaves with a small curved line inside. Then, draw the thin, long arms
and eventually little ovals for the elf's hands. For the elf's Christmas tree hat, we are going to draw the wavy lines starting at the top and continuing to the bottom. The rows of wavy lines keep on repeating. At the very top of the hat, I'm going to show you step by step how to draw a star. Make sure to follow the line. Shine bright like a star. For the elf's uniform, draw the collar. It might look like the letter W. And small lines on the sleeves. You are welcome to give your elf any hairstyle you want, like short hair or two ponytails.
You can even put a small front pocket. Now that you are all done with your good looking friends, you are welcome to draw the face however you want.
Your artwork looks fantastic! Make sure you sign your artwork. Every artist always writes their name somewhere at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson just as much as I did. I will see you in our next lesson. Goodbye for now.